Hello everyone, welcome to another LEGO Lover 117 video. Today's video is actually, well it's a subject of video that I've already done once or twice in the past, but it's a different item this time around. No, it's not a VHS tape, not even Thomas. It's, wow. it's not even Thomas oh, Wooden yeah. Railway. No. Dun dun dun. That's just the box, people. That's not like a monster or something. You did not introduce me. And yes, you hear the fat hobo in the background. Hey, you're mean. You should have introduced me. No, I shouldn't have. Let's move you into the shop, I'm everybody. I'm messing with you now. This package is actually going to be relatively easy to open because just a little flap on the side here. So I get to show you all how to open this. Sorry about that little jump cut. The camera's being stupid today, but uh, thank you for that explanation, Jacob. Thank you so much. I wonder what that red button does. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the box is open, so we don't need it anymore. Yes, I just threw the box. Bye, bye, box. So, bye, bye. First item I received. This was all from Amazon. Like my, like my wooden railway Steven was. So the first item. Dead or alive. I'm going to shove my foot up your ass. Yeah. You can see it's the original Robocop. I yeah. buy that for a dollar. Yes, yes you would. Actually, I bought this for $12. Wow. Hey, shut I up. Me, fact, I love it. Yeah. And the best part is, it's the unrated director's cut. But, anyway. It took so many times for the people to get it to be released by the, uh, to be actually, like, a lot to be released to the public. That's how gore it was. Mm-hmm. Especially with the giant robot shooting the dude. So, yeah, there's a little sticker there. Newly remastered, over two hours of bonus features, including a new interview with the filmmakers. My announcer voice is so nice. There's the M there's the there's the MGM sticker, 90th anniversary. Can you believe it's been 90 years since MGM? Wow, I feel really old right now. Hey, Tom is turning 70. No, I feel even older. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to use a jump cut here because the camera's going to die on me again because this iPod sucks. But uh, we're going to jump cut to opening this. So we'll see it without the little cellophane on it. So see y'all in that jump cut. Okay, we've jump cut it and we've taken the cellophane off RoboCop. And really not much inside, just the disc. No DVD, which I'm not really sad about. I can just buy a copy on... Google Play, if I want to like watch it on the go or something like that. But, disc, not much in the term of artwork, just has the OCP logo on the back of it, the title and then blue right at the bottom. And, in I'm case... The dude gets shot in the dick. Yeah, dude, I laughed out loud at that. You remember. You were watching it and I laughed out loud at that. I think I do remember that. And in case you all were wondering, and Jacob was wondering, I already have the remake. Which, the reason I bought this one first was because, well, it was the first day it came out. I was at Target. It was on sale for $18. I was like, eh, the heck with it. So, I have seen this first. But just because I've seen this first, this version is way better. So yeah, uh, the original is better than the remake. The remake's okay. It's not crap like most RoboCop fans were. Like, uh, when they gave it the PG-13 rating? <laughs> you can't make a RoboCop movie with a PG-13 rating? No, 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 no. I'm like, I don't care. I'm not too fond of remakes. It was okay. You still should see it. It's a nice watch. But I'm totally recalled the three tit girl. You mean the new one with Colin Farrell? Yes. The original the had Schwarzenegger in it, so. Yeah, I know. The girl with three boobs. 
never seen Total Recall, and I probably never will. At least not in this lifetime. But anyway, camera's about to die on me again, because I hate this flipping iPod. But anyway, I'll show you my second buy, which I think you all will be very proud of me. Our next and, well, final buy for this time is something that some of my friends have been pestering me to see for quite some time now. Uh, this is the first time I'm getting a copy of these movies. You can probably guess by the way Jacob was singing at the first part. Yes, thank thank you for the little commentary there, Jacob. It's the in, it's the it's the Indiana Jones the Complete Collection Adventures, whatever the heck you want to call it. On Blu-ray, yeah. Indy, you better go get that hoe. You gotta slap that ass. <laughs> you gotta smack that tight ass. You gotta tap it too. But yeah. I've wanted to see these. Well, I haven't really wanted to see them. Uh, they've been they've been recommended to me over and over and over again from a friend of mine here in my town. And I swear to God, he gets annoying whenever he tries to recommend these to me uh and jacob actually a few times has told me they're good yeah they're, i heard they're good from what critics have said i just have never made the time to go watch them except for the fourth one people say the fourth one's awful which uh from some of the clips i've seen yeah it's pretty bad but i can't judge it because i haven't watched it yet so we're gonna jump cut again and take the cellophane off this bad boy there's Dr. Jones. He's staring into your soul. Ah, okay, let's let's go ahead that creepy factor. Alright, they're taking the cellophane off. As you can see, this little Blu-ray thing just pops right off. There's really no reason for me to keep that on there. So, we're gonna do this. Didn't go very far. But, yeah, this box is actually quite hefty. Very heavy. Not very heavy, but... You can see it just slides right out. The slip case is what really gives it the weight. It's real, real hard. I, I think that's like really hard cardboard. Real durable. And there's the actual book that you get with it. And this is similar to the Star Wars Blu-ray box set, which I have seen I do not own yet. I hope to get it at some point, uh, but it's very, very similar. It's a large book. <coughs> I just sneezed on camera. Two years, and I haven't sneezed on camera once. <laughs> Story of my life there, gentlemen. But, Congratulations, motherfucker. <laughs> there's, the, there's our first page, Raiders of the Lost Ark. As you can see, the disc is hidden in the page. Standard disc. I'm just going to put it over here. I'm just going to take these out of the pages. There's Temple of Doom. As you can see, there's also behind the scenes pictures and the movie poster. Yeah. It's come out. Temple of Doom. Yeah, here's some Fort Holden. Man. Last Crusade. That guy looks kind of like the guy, the doctor in Captain America. Maybe it is. If it is, tell me. The hey, last crusade. Uh, I have a or <laughs> and our next one. Ugh, crystal skull. Ew, 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 ew. The disc burns. I haven't even watched the movie yet, and it already burns. And there's our bonus features. You can see only one disc this time around. I know for the Star Wars box set, it's three discs. So... Yeah. Uh, there's the back, just copyright information and such. And there's the back, it's also the same thing. It's just a little map. But it's a nice little book. Book type thing. Very durable. And there's our five discs 
Here we go. All four films and then a bonus features disc. So I won't take time to put this all back. Anyway, we're going to jump cut again. I love to jump cut. It's fun. Jump cut. That is what I'll be known for. Jump cutting. Like Michael Bay is known for big... Oh, 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 over the uh, the the top explosions. I'll be known for jump cuts and stupid transitions, which are fun to put in. So we'll jump cut to the Blu-ray and DVD shelf. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my shelf. Yeah. So get psyched, viewers. It's Hugh Jackman with a sword. He's staring into your soul. My name is Marcy. I am stupid. Yes, your name is Marcy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just remembered this. So, did you hear about um, the TTE community remake as pop goes diesel? Can we talk about this later? I'm filming. Sorry about that side conversation there, people. Uh, but yeah, you're staring at my DVD shelf right now, and you're wondering where are the Blu rays? Where are the Blu rays? He said Blu-ray and DVD shelf. Where are the Blu-rays? Well, I'll show you them in a minute. These are actually not all the DVDs I own. Uh, yeah, I'm a geek like this, and I separate uh, my action comic book type films and sci-fi, which is mainly just Star Wars, uh, off onto its own shelf because I feel like it needs its own shelf because it's its own genre, sort of. All my other movies and stuff are either in my basement or they are in the cabinet next to my VHS cabinet, which I will show you in my VHS uh, video, which is coming. I promise you, Jacob's getting a big lot and he's going to send me some tapes along with the two tapes that he's already promised. So that collection video is coming. I've said this maybe six months now, but I promise you in the next month or so, it is coming. See what I just highlighted. I know what you highlight, dude. I'm filming right now. We'll watch that later. Jesus. God, you have no decency. But yeah, if you're wondering what this little thing is, that's yeah, Captain America: The First Avenger. This was just the disc that came in a little lot I bought a while ago. This is before I did. Why? Why can't my dad? This was. I bought this lot, BB, before I did unboxing videos. Uh, I think the lot came with Thor and Iron Man 2 and Captain America the First Avenger. So yeah, the rest of these, I uh, either, most of the Star Wars ones I either owned as a child, got as gifts, or have bought myself. And the rest of these, uh, I've been purchased by my own money. Mostly, some of them I got as Christmas gifts, like uh, The Dark Knight Rises right there. But, and The Amazing Spider-Man. Sorry for the glare. It's because of the sun in the background, but, uh, still. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a funny story why I have two copies of Rise of the Silver Surfer here, but I'll tell you all that story another time, because we really don't have time. Because you all are probably wondering, where are the Blu-rays? I'm gonna kill him if he doesn't show the Blu-rays. Okay, you probably weren't thinking that, but uh, uh, they're actually up top. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you all were probably thinking he has a big shelf full of Blu-rays, and not so much. Yeah, I have a stack of Blu-rays. But he doesn't have too much. With a Toyota Tundra hat next to it. I'm gonna put that on. Why can't my cap or why shoes are reserved for Yeah. Oh, goodness. I'd show you all, but I don't want to. Uh, let's take that off. But, yeah, there's the stack of Blu-rays. As you can see, the Indiana Jones box set is on the bottom because it's the biggest one. Uh, I have Man of Steel. I got that for Christmas. X-Men Origins Wolverine. I know you all are thinking, it's the worst X-Men film. How do you buy that on Blu-ray and not the others? It was five dollars at Target, and it, uh, and it was the only X Men movie I needed to finish out the whatever you call it, the movies. 
the RoboCop remake, of course, Transformers 3, this Transformers movie that we don't talk about, and Transformers 1, and the RoboCop, of course, and Inception. Inception is actually a very good movie. I actually watched this the other night. Very, very good. Very confusing, but it's when you hunker down and actually think about it, it's a really good concept and plot. So, yeah. Um, these two, well, these five Blu-rays, really, because that's one movie, that's four, not counting the bonus feature disc. Uh, these five movies have become part of my Blu-ray stack. And I hope to make this stack grow and turn into a Blu-ray shelf at some point, but for now, it's just a stack. So, that's about it for this unusual unboxing video. Yeah, normally I would test these, but... They're movies, so if I wanted to test them, it would span out over one, maybe two days. So, yeah, I'm not going to test them. I will not test them on camera. I will watch them, obviously. I didn't just buy them just to have them. But, <clears throat> I think, well, that's pretty much it for this video. And I think I'm... I think I'm going to go watch RoboCop right now. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go put this in the player, and I'm going to go watch RoboCop. I just lost faith in humanity. That's a lie. I'm not going to no. watch that right now. Look at my screen. I'm not going to watch that right now. I am going to turn off the camera. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep rambling on and see what Jacob is saying, because he's going nuts down there. If, <laughs> if, if y'all can't hear him. So... Pretty much it for this video. See y'all later.